Hello my friends out there, this is Evan, your man in some really exciting tutorials. Today I will show you a trick to disappear the reflections over your picture frames when you have them outside and try to make this wonderful effect like my friend Neil tried to do. So Neil uh, take out, took out actually this, uh, this frame and uh, used this grandmother to hold the frame and then created this wonderful effect inside here. But it's really easy to have uh, these problematic areas when you are taking a shot of uh, reflective uh, glass you know, outside. So we will try to fix this problem. Actually, Neil tried to fix this problem by hiding the, the gray frame, but we will try to make it better. So Neil did that. Actually, he managed to take away the reflections, but uh, first of all, we don't have the frame. The frame looks much more appealing over this photograph. And here it uh, just uh, not looking so really good without the frame, but he doesn't have the reflections now. Good job, Neil. But you have the fingers of the grandmother really uh, cut it. So my job is to keep the frame and actually do not cut the fingers of the grandmother. So let's do it in Photoshop. I will use simple tools in Photoshop and I will be able to create a new scene over here with new frame and new photograph in order to make it look much more pleasing and of course realistic. And above all, I will create also a reflection. I will go back in Photoshop. I will use this man over here and I will create the same effect over the grandmother. So I have the original photo over here. Of course, if you have it uh, locked as a flattened image, you will have to take away this locksmith and drag it over the garbage can, the trash can. And then I will name this grandmother, of course, in, uh, in English, not Greek, because, you know, I speak Greek fluently. It's my mother tongue and uh, mother language, actually. <laughs> and I will uh, create a duplicate in order to have it. Grandmother backup. Back up. No, backup, actually. Great. And I will just hide this layer. I will put it underneath. And then I will go and I will just zoom it just a tiny bit in order to see all my gray frame. And I will take my lasso tools. Personally, I use only the pen tool in order to create those selections, but you can do it as well with a mix of two, uh, of two lasso over here. I will create the polygonal lasso and I will just create, you know, a new box, a new actually selection. Of course, I have to go here and create a selection, of course. You see that yeah, we have a problem with this tool, so I will have to you know, recreate this whole effect. I'll just hit the escape button and I will just try again. I will just click here and click here and click here. And of course, click here and of course, click here. So I have my selection, but the fingers of the grandmother, they're cutted. You see that? So now I need the other tool. I will go here and I will select the lasso tool. And of course, I will use this, uh, this actually selection, the subtract from selection uh, button that it will make it much more easy for me to take away the fingers and the shadows of the grandmother taken away from the selection. You see that? So now my grandmother's fingers, they are taken away. They're not in the selection. And of course, I can do that as precise as I can. I repeat, I use most of the times the pen tool for that kind of uh, edits, but you know, it's really easy to create that as well if you don't have the experience in Photoshop with the lasso and the polygonal tool. So now my uh, actually selection, it is ready. And the only thing that I have to do is to select my grandmother uh, layer and create an inverted mask. Don't get scared. The inverted mask, it's not so scientific. You just only have to go here, hold Alt Option in Macintosh and click the layer mask button. And right away, we have a transparent frame. And now I can put whatever I like. Also, because I'm working with a mask, 
I can uh, put, uh, I can actually add uh, things to the selection, to the selection, or actually to delete. You see that I have some problems here, so I will have to take now my uh, brush, of course, with black color, and I can actually, uh, no, sorry, with white color, and I can actually uh, bring out the cutted parts of the finger. So now my photograph is okay. And we are ready to rock and roll right now. The first thing is the creation of the frame. So I will go beneath the grandmother layer. I will create a new layer. I will name it gray frame. I will take a gray color. Actually, I can take the same color as my original frame. So I will go here and I will select this color. Actually, this color is the AC, AB, BA. AC, AB, BA. Hit OK. And then I will just uh, come back to the gray frame. I will create a selection. We only work with selections, as you can see, not complex and difficult tools. And now we'll go and paint this thing over with a gray, actually, original frame. I will then go to select, deselect. And then I will go and actually I will bring out again my original photograph by Alt and click this place of the eye. Actually uh, take, uh, takes out all the other layers and brings only this one as a visible layer. And then I will go and select the rectangular marquee tool. And then I will just select the inner picture. Wonderful. And then I will go again, Alt click here and delete the inner of the gray frame by hitting the delete button. Wonderful. And then select and uh, actually deselect. And my photograph, it's done. Right away, I have a new frame. I have the grandmother cutted. You see that? So it's a build up process and we're good to go. Uh, if you want to stay like that, it is okay. If you want to enlarge this photograph, it's again okay. I can just uh, create a selection of the of this photograph. I can go here then. Okay. And then I will just go to my original photograph. And then I will just go right click and uh, hit the layer via copy. And then I have the original photograph. I will name it original photo. And I will just put it uh, right below the grandmother or actually uh, right above the gray frame. And now I can just go to edit and create a free transform and actually enlarge this thing. But as you will realize, I am below, I'm still below the grandmother hands. You see that? Wonderful. If the fingers of the grandmother, they are a little bit scary or they, they seem that they are cutted because uh, we used to have gray frame here, not colored frame. So it looks a little bit uh, problematic. We can just uh, go here over the mask, over the mask, not the photograph, go to the properties of the mask and actually feather the mask in order to mix and blend the feather with uh, actually um, soften the mask but of course it doesn't really look really really good i should use the pen tool for that so uh, i will keep the frame it's much more better for me and maybe now i will just uh, create again a soften for that so we'll feather this out and it looks much more better now at about uh, half pixel super and my photograph now looks okay I can as well create a drop shadow over the gray frame to make it even more better. So I will go and create a drop shadow. And of course here you can see the drop shadow. Okay. And then I can just increase the size. And of course, uh, actually, I have to put the frame over. Okay. Now it works better. And I will go here and I will actually make it much more soft and I will bring it over to the zero pixels and we're okay. And so we're like that. My photograph now looks much more better. It has depth in here. Check this out. Check that uh, without the effects. You see that? Much more better. And then I can actually create a reflection over the gray frame, create a new layer, call it reflection, reflection. Super. And then I will go and use my polygonal again. Hit here and hit here and hit here. And again, close a triangle, actually. And then go to reflection 
and hit the original colors, the white as a foreground. And then I will go and select the gradient tool. From here, I will select uh, a white to transparent. And then I will go and I will just a linear, of course, gradient. And then I will go and actually paint over here. And we have a wonderful reflection. Select, deselect, and my photograph is ready. I will just have to reduce the opacity of this reflection and have it only as a tiny bit. Wonderful. And of course, if you don't really like this reflection, just take it out, no problem. It's on a separate layer, so everything can be activated or deactivated. And I will uh, put my astronaut inside because I really like to do that. Um, and I will uh, replace actually the original photo. I will take this man over here, drag and drop it over my photograph. And you see that it is uh, he's already inside the frame because it is right below the grandmother catted original photograph. I will name him astronaut. Astronaut, I think it's called like that. I don't really know because uh, it is actually a Greek word and the Greek word uh, for astronaut is astronaftis. So you uh, speak Greek if you don't know it. And now I will go edit. I will go to free transform and I will hold alt and shift in order to make my smaller photograph of course right and not uh, you know distorted now my photograph it looks much more better i will hit the okay and of course i will bring the astronaut right below the gray frame and we're ready to go so neil i hope that my tutorial helped you and uh, i hope that my extra tips helped you uh, you know create a better result over your photograph. And of course, I hope that everybody, not only Neil, this tutorial help uh, to, you know, to make something even better. So this was my tutorial. If you liked my work, please like the video. And of course, if you want to see more tutorials from me, just hit the subscribe button. And uh, that way we will be in touch all the time. I'm Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials. Keep photoshopping my friends. I'll be back really, really soon.